Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best portrait lens for Nikon. Starting at number 5. Tamron SP70-200. Mmm. Spending over $1,000 just to shoot portrait shots can seem a bit ridiculous. For those who that resonates with, this Tamron 70-200 f2 may 8th be multipurpose enough to please your needs. For one, having a consistent f2 8 across its range means it's good for video. Another perk is that 200 mm. f2 8 is considered a solid focal length for full body portrait shots. Mod reduced to 37 4 inch 1 colon 6 1 max mag ratio angle of view diagonal 34 degrees 21 minutes 12 degree 21 foot for full frame format 22 degrees 33 minutes 7 degree 59 for APS-C format lightweight and easy to hold tripod mount is compatible with an Arca Swiss style quick release plate compatible with Tamron tap-in console an optional accessory product the front surface of the lens element is coated with a protective fluorine compound that is water and oil repellent. Teleconverters, optional, compatible with this new Tamron lens. Aperture Blades 9 Circular Diaphragm. Coming at number 4. Nikon AFS VR Micronicker. For those looking to kill two birds with one stone, this lens is a portrait and macro beast. Boasting excellent speed, amazing color and contrast, and great sharpness, it's a solid dual-use lens. With its focusing distance of a mere one foot, its macro shots aren't just sharp, they're in your face. Users say it's great for events and handles low light well. 105. Mmm. Is a bit dialed in, lens is 168. Mmm on DX, but some people report that portraits look better at this focal length. For someone who wants these two uses, it's very hard to get them both at this quality and at this price, let alone in one convenient package. Designed for close-up and macro photography, versatile enough for virtually any photographic situation. Maximum angle of view, FX format 23 degrees 20 minutes. Features new VR2 vibration reduction technology, Focal length, 105. Mmm. Minimum focus distance, 1. 0, 3 feet, 0, 3, 1, 4M. Nanocrystal coat and ED glass elements that enhance overall image quality by further reducing flare and chromatic aberrations. At number 3. Nikon AFS Nicker 85. Mmm. F slash 1. 8G. With outstanding optical quality, peep that DxO Mark score, high quality optics, and fast focusing. This is the portrait lens for those who want a reasonable price, but a professional's lens. While 85. Mmm. On DX is a bit snug for most at 136. Mmm. For FX shooters, this lens offers stunning images and fast focus. Users love its durability and bokeh and the manual focus override is a nice touch for those rare moments when the AF can't find its mark. Some minor drawbacks include a small percentage of users noting chromatic aberration and its plastic build which left some feeling like it was cheap. Internal focus, focal length 85mm, minimum focus range 0, 80m. Silent wave motor, SWM. Number of diaphragm blades, 7, rounded diaphragm opening. M slash a focus mode switch. Filter attachment size is 67 mm, P equals 0, 75 mm. Nikon Super Integrated Coating, SICK. 85 mm fixed lens, maximum reproduction ratio 0, 12x. Number 2 of my list. Nikon AFS Nicker. Nikon's Nifty 50 may not be as talked about as Canon's famous model, but for users of full-frame Nikon cameras or DX cameras, where its focal length is roughly 80. Mm. This lens offers great bokeh, value, and solid autofocus. It's a great beginner lens. 
In the right hands, it captures attractive pictures of people, animals, and other subjects. One minor drawback is that some users had issues with aberration. Still, for most, this prime piece of glass with its silent wave motor and edge-to-edge -edge sharpness is a great buy for people looking to get started with portraits. 8G Lens, 58. Mmm. Snap-on lens cap, LF for rear lens cap, HB 47 bayonet lens hood for AFS 50. Mmm. F slash 1. 4G, CL, 1013 soft lens case, 5-year warranty, 1-year international plus 4-year USA extension. And number 1. Nikon AFS DX Nicker. The 35. Mmm. F1. 8 is a great lens for DX shooters. CC list of DX cameras here, as it gives users a reasonably tight feel, comparable to 50. Mmm. On a full frame camera, on an FX camera, it will likewise look a 50. Mmm. With its crop factor of 1. 5x. This is the only lens on this list intended for DX cameras specifically, and it's a solid workhorse for a beginner. 8 is also fast enough to function indoors and in low light. Users love the build quality, manual to autofocus override, and fast, quiet internal focusing. While it's not strictly speaking a professional lens, it is certainly good enough to pass for one in the right hands. While it wouldn't work for a professional model, for standard headshots and other portraiture, it's a suitable pick. For beginners who are ready to start advancing their photography, this is a good foray into prime lenses. That said, if you're serious about your photography, you may be better off starting off with a more expensive and optically powerful lens. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.